George Berkeley, also known as Bishop Berkeley, was an Anglo-Irish philosopher whose primary achievement was the advancement of a theory he called immaterialism. This theory denies the existence of material substance and instead contends that familiar objects like tables and chairs are only ideas in the minds of perceivers, and as a result cannot exist without being perceived. Berkeley is also known for his critique of abstraction, an important premise in his argument for immaterialism. In 1709, Berkeley published his first major work, An Essay Towards a New Theory of Vision, in which he discussed the limitations of human vision and advanced the theory that the proper objects of sight are not material objects, but light and color. This foreshadowed his chief philosophical work, A Treatise Concerning the Principles of Human Knowledge, in 1710, which, after its poor reception, he rewrote in dialogue form and published under the title Three Dialogues Between Hylas and Philonus in 1713. In this book, Berkeley's views were represented by Philonus, while Hylas embodies the Irish thinker's opponents, in particular John Locke. Berkeley argued against Sir Isaac Newton's doctrine of absolute space, time and motion in De Motu, published 1721. His arguments were a precursor to the views of Mack and Einstein. In 1732, he published Alciphron, a Christian apologetic against the free thinkers, and in 1734, he published The Analyst. A critique of the foundations of calculus, which was influential in the development of mathematics. His last major philosophical work, Cyrus, begins by advocating the medicinal use of tar water and then continues to discuss a wide range of topics, including science, philosophy, and theology. Interest in Berkeley's work increased after World War II because he tackled many of the issues of paramount interest to philosophy in the 20th century, such as the problems of perception, the difference between primary and secondary qualities, and the importance of language. Biography Ireland Berkeley was born at his family home, Dissert Castle, near Thomastown, County Kilkenny, Ireland, the eldest son of William Berkeley a cadet of the noble family of Berkeley. He was educated at Kilkenny College and attended Trinity College, Dublin, earning a bachelor's degree in 1704 and completing a master's degree in 1707. He remained at Trinity College after completion of his degree as a tutor and Greek lecturer. His earliest publication was on mathematics, but the first that brought him notice was his An Essay Towards a New Theory of Vision, first published in 1709. In the essay, Berkeley examines visual distance, magnitude, position and problems of sight and touch. While this work raised much controversy at the time, its conclusions are now accepted as an established part of the theory of optics. The next publication to appear was the treatise concerning the principles of human knowledge in 1710, which had great success and gave him a lasting reputation, though few accepted his theory that nothing exists outside the mind. This was followed in 1713 by three dialogues between Hylas and Philonis, in which he propounded his system of philosophy, the leading principle of which is that the world, as represented by our senses, depends for its existence on being perceived. For this theory, the principles gives the exposition and the dialogues the defense. One of his main objectives was to combat the prevailing materialism of his time. The theory was largely received with ridicule, while even those such as Samuel Clarke and William Whiston, who did acknowledge his extraordinary genius, were nevertheless convinced that his first principles were false. England and Europe Shortly afterwards, Berkeley visited England and was received into the circle of Addison, Pope and Steele. In the period between 1714 and 1720, he interspersed his academic endeavors with periods of extensive travel in Europe, including one of the most extensive grand tours of the length and breadth of Italy ever undertaken. In 1721, he took holy orders in the Church of Ireland, earning his doctorate in divinity, and once again chose to remain at Trinity College Dublin, lecturing this time in divinity and in Hebrew. 
In 1721 halves he was made Dean of Dromoyne, in 1724, Dean of Derry. In 1723, following her violent quarrel with Jonathan Swift, who had been her intimate friend for many years, Esther Van Homrye named Berkeley her co-heir along with the barrister Robert Marshall. Her choice of legacies caused a good deal of surprise since she did not know either of them well. Although Berkeley as a very young man had known her father, Swift said generously that he did not grudge Berkeley his inheritance, much of which vanished in a lawsuit in any event. A story that Berkeley and Marshall disregarded a condition of the inheritance that they must publish the correspondence between Swift and Vanessa is probably untrue. In 1725, he began the project of founding a college in Bermuda for training ministers and missionaries in the colony, in pursuit of which he gave up his deanery with its income of £1,100. Marriage in America In 1728, he married Anne Forster, daughter of John Forster, Chief Justice of the Irish Common Pleas. He then went to America on a salary of £100 per annum. He landed near Newport, Rhode Island, where he bought a plantation in Middletown, Rhode Island, the famous Whitehall. It has been claimed that he introduced Palladianism into America by borrowing a design from William Kent's designs of Inigo Jones for the door case of his house in Rhode Island, Whitehall. He also brought to New England John Smibert, the British artist he discovered in Italy who is generally regarded as the founding father of American portrait painting. Meanwhile, he drew up plans for the ideal city he planned to build on Bermuda. He lived at the plantation while he waited for funds for his college to arrive. The funds, however, were not forthcoming, and in 1732 he left America and returned to London. Humanitarian work while living in London's Saville Street, he took part in efforts to create a home for the city's abandoned children. The Foundling Hospital was founded by Royal Charter in 1739, and Berkeley is listed as one of its original governors. In 1734, he was appointed Bishop of Cloyne in Ireland, a position he was to hold until his death. Soon afterwards, he published Alciphron, or The Minute Philosopher, directed against both Shaftesbury and Bernard de Mandeville, and in 1735-37 The Querist. Last works His last two publications were Cyrus, Philosophical Reflections and Inquiries Concerning the Virtues of Tar Water, and divers other subjects connected together and arising from one another and further thoughts on tar water. Pine tar is an effective antiseptic and disinfectant when applied to cuts on the skin, but Barclay argued for the use of pine tar as a broad panacea for diseases. His 1744 work on tar water sold more copies than any of his other books during Berkeley's lifetime. He remained at Cloyne until 1752, when he retired and went to Oxford to live with his son. He died soon afterward and was buried in Christ Church Cathedral, Oxford. His affectionate disposition and genial manners made him much loved and held in warm regard by many of his contemporaries.